Hi, and welcome to the Earth Science Classroom. We are looking at the Earth's interior. This is video number three. There we are on physics and principles. So first, I'll look at um, the Earth's interior, and a very important part of it um, is the temperature. OK, now we usually work in degrees Celsius uh, rather than Fahrenheit. Uh, that's more given across the entire planet for science. So we used uh, centigrade and basically looking at the geotherm. So how temperature changes with depth. And there are some key uh, parts of the Earth's interior we have to discuss. So pretty much as you go down deeper, what happens to the temperature? So generally, uh, the general consensus is that as you go deeper into the Earth, the temperature is going to increase. Now, why? Why? You're going towards the core, which is roughly 6,000 degrees centigrade, the massive oven, and you're going towards the heat. There's also different types of thermal radiant energy being moved from the core through different layers, like the mesosphere, sinosphere, lithosphere, uh, through radiation, sorry, through um, conduction and uh, convection so you're going to get a hotter uh, environment and also you can also enter the pressure the pressure and density rocks are being squeezed together and therefore it's going to increase the temperature as well so we can look at the geotherm and see that there are distinct changes in the temperature as at certain depths. So as you can see on the right hand side here, I've drawn this very basic geothermal gradient uh, from the surface, which is up here, down to the Earth center, which is down here, roughly uh, 6,371 kilometers. This is all kilometers beneath the surface. So the 410 kilometers, that's the uh, start of the transition zone. In 410660, that is part of the asthenosphere and uh, going into the mesosphere. Then the uh, lower mantle mesosphere down to 2900, which is the core mantle boundary, uh, the Gutenberg discontin discontinuity, and also the location of the oh, wrong one location of the D zone, that lay a very thin. Uh, boundary or, or area where the, the mantle turns into the core, um, the outer core. And then we have um, also a transition zone as well. So we have these different areas. And as you can see, there's changes, abrupt changes in how fast the temperature changes. Now, on average, it's around 25 degrees Celsius for every kilometer of depth you go down but also you see in the you know from from uh from zero the surface down to 410 so you're going through the crust and lithosphere and into the uh asthenosphere the temperature increases rapidly um and then it goes from basically an average of what, 55 uh, uh 25 degrees on the surface um or, or 20, uh, 19, 18 degrees on the surface, sorry, um, down to 1400 degrees Celsius uh, at the bottom of the lithosphere and into the asthenosphere. Then there's a kind of a slower increase down to the start of the mesosphere. And then there is a sharp, obviously, over a thousand degree increase through as you go deeper into the uh, mesosphere and lower mantle. Uh, down to the core mantle boundary, and there's a sh also again a sharp increase, uh, not as sharp as the surface, but there's an increase in temperature gradient um, in the outer core, and then there's kind of like a more consistent temperature increase down to the center here. So you can see these distinct boundaries that you can see uh, kind of separate each layer, each physical layer, uh, based on the temperature. So the geotherm is very important because also it is the separation of rocks being solid 
or partially mountain to create some sort of liquidus or liquid material. We know it as, as magma or melt. And also the degree of temperature also can control the level of um, density of that rock, which also include the bulk modulus, which is basically how much the rock can withstand compressibility. How much can it be compressed? Uh, the higher the bulk modulus, the less it can be compressed and squeezed, which relation relates to pressure and density. And the last one we'll look at is the shear modulus, which is in relation to the force applied to that rock, the direction and the stress and strain, which is basically here's our rock. And if one stress is going this way, one is going that way. So it's going to shear uh, the rock in a certain direction. So with a, with a higher shear modulus, like with the bulk modulus, the rock will withstand these forces. And obviously, the higher the bulk and shear modulus, the higher the density of that, that uh, particular rock in the solid state. And this can be seen and changes can be seen through with the geotherm, through from the surface to the center of the Earth. So the main points to take out for the students is it gets hotter as you go down uh, through the layers of the Earth to the center, but the changes in temperature um, vary in, with depth and with layers, and that can control whether the, the, the rock is solid or liquid and where we get our magma from and where the potential areas we get our magma from as well. So we've got to compare this to density uh, as well, but uh, we'll look at that in future uh, future videos. Thanks a lot.